you got the ring light. Lucky. She said ring light. I just here to be in the video. Hmm? Happy Friday, everybody. I got my grand. Don't mind her. She's a, she's a, she a nutcase like, like me. It's my oldest granddaughter. And the other one over here. She wants me to show her how to make, make bracelets. Should she? Should she? Yes. What are you doing to my light? Kids, man, I swear. I had my, I had my grand, my grandchildren, I had my grandson since yesterday. Now I got all three of them. She's a nutcase, and I swear I feel like I just worked a twelve-hour shift. Man, kids are exhausting. Shout out to everybody who um got little ones at home. This is like so out of my element. Live, well, people you have on there now. Uh, two people. That's good. Thank you. I'm waiting for my brother to jump on. We're going to jump yeah. on. And, um, and, uh, and she gets on, she gets on live. She's sitting right behind me. I hear the feedback. Put in your headphones. Y'all can't hear me? Hold on, let me see. Yeah, she can. You can hear me, right? No. Yeah. I can. You can hear me? Mm -hmm. Y'all can't hear her. Oh, it's delayed on your end. Right. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, somebody said they can't hear. Okay. Where, where he at? I just accepted him. Oh, so anyway, my brother is going to be jumping on, and we are going to uh, just just kick it. About it's Friday night, raining. Why not? But I, he just put in a request. Oh, no. You're going to have all that feedback in my background. I'm about to kill her. I'm about to kill her. Y'all going, going to witness a murder on live. A murder. Don't call it for me. There you go. Uh there you go. What's up? I was just I was just telling telling everybody that's on that we that we coming on and we just was about to just kick it. And I got crazy behind me, my crazy grandchild behind me making faces and whatnot. That's the kids. Oh my god, y'all! I feel like I'm working. A, I feel like I just worked a twelve hour shift, especially with that baby, with that Noah. Oh my god. Yo, that's how. You you um you freezing. Okay, let's turn it down a little bit. Yo, kids is, is a job. That's why, like, whenever I got the kids, the babies with me, I clear out my schedule. I, I clear out <laughs> my schedule, and I count that as just a rest day. Yo, for real. I called myself making a to-do list. I did one thing this morning, and it was like, I did my, my regular, you know, my regular morning routine or whatever, and I usually start that at 5 in the morning. When I got up, tiptoeing out the bed at five o'clock, who wakes up? Who jumps? <laughs> I was like, it's over. It's a, and he did not want to go back to sleep. Yo, yo. that's what it is, man. Kids, yo, kids is like a real test for your patience. It's like it's a it's a patience builder, especially when you got multiple kids. Oh my god, yo. about three. But the, the the two big ones, they're not a problem. They're not a problem. I just tell them clean up behind yourself and we straight. But the little one. When he trying, he jumping all over her, and she trying to, you know, she older, so she trying to be in her own little peaceful world, and he all over her, and she like, get off me, get off me. Yo. I was, I was just sitting in the corner, like just rocking back and forth, like somebody come get me, somebody come <laughs> get me. <laughs> yo, and 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 on top of that, like when you watching kids, yo, I swear, yo, kids know when when you on the phone or when you preoccupied. They max out. <laughs> like they they turn up. It's like go mode for them. Like, yeah, she she on the phone, we out. We about to tear everything up. 
That's how they, they up in see, see this one over here chilling. She see she be in she be in her own world. And this one over here behind me, she wants me to show her how to make a, a bracelet. So I'm gonna show her how to make a bracelet real quick. Let her do her thing. But um, so now nah, so we gotta get to it, yo. Accountability. That's been that's been it seemed like that's been like the word all week. I saw you post your post up. Earlier this week, right? Was it this week that you posted up the, the post on um accountability? I think that was Tuesday, if I'm not mistaken. Cause I know I reposted it in my story because that that accountability. I'm now that I'm in school and um getting my masters, I, I realize how important like accountability is. Like having accountability and having somebody that, you know what I'm saying, you could you could kick it with about school and, and somebody to keep that that's like, yo, you, did you do this, did you do that? And it's like, oh shoot, when we gonna do this, we're gonna do that. Since I've had my accountability partner my study partner from school. Yeah, I'm turning my assignments in like a week in advance. Like we straight, me and her both straight like a week early with our stuff. I was like, yeah, this accountability is, is, is what I need. That's the thing about it, man. You know, people don't really like realize that like when you got somebody that's pushing you to do right, more, so. to me, it's kind of like you having a coach, a trainer or somebody. Like when mm -hmm. I go to them and I got a training partner, Ted, Ted is going like, Ted is going push me you know what i mean but people mm -hmm. just people don't really don't be understanding they be like yo i don't need that i know how to just uh just do my own thing that's cool to know but you only gonna push yourself to where you can really just just push yourself but but when you got somebody that's really and like they on your ass like they holding you accountable for all the things that you claim you're gonna do so it's like when you hop back on that call and when you check in with them you got to hear your own bullshit for why you ain't do certain things. And it's like, that shit hits you. You be like, because when you really think about it, you be like, damn, like, why didn't I, I finish that, that whole gallon of water? And when you think about it, you be like, man, I was bullshitting. I was on, I was scrolling too much on IG or I was doing oh this. Oh, my God. Like you know what I mean? So, and also, like, like, my partner, he texts me also throughout the day. So, he be mm -hmm. like, bro. Like, where you at with it? Or he text me, and when he texts me, I already know, damn, I got to get something done. <laughs> <laughs> I got to get something done. So, and, and, and me and him, we've been doing this for, like, the past, like, two and a half, three years. Mm -hmm. So I can't even go without having a, a part. Well, I can, but it's not the same. It ain't the same. Like, even on, like, on Saturdays and Sundays, that's kind of like when we tone down. But I still be on it. He be like, damn, bro, today's Sunday. You still going there? I'm like, yo, man. Yo, my son, my son to do this be like midway. Like, I still, hell yeah. And I write everything, like every little thing. Like, even if it's just a gym, even though it's a part of my, that's been my routine and part of my life for years, I still write it in because it's times when I'll be like on some old, and I don't feel like going. But then when I see it on that to-do list and I see that, like for me, what drives me with my to-do list is marking it off. Like, I'll check it. But when you putting them crossing, exactly. you crossing them off, and you looking exactly. like yo, like yo, I did everything today. Like I'm straight winning. I won the day. That jump be amazing. So I even write the gym on it because sometimes, like today, well, today was a, was straight off day because I had the baby, but I ain't get a chance to to you know what I'm saying do any type of working out. So the fact that I have it on my to do well, my my whole to do list right now is like nothing's marked. I think one thing is marked off. I usually just take that and I'll just. I'll just transfer it over to the next day. Like I transfer that whole to do list to the next day. Yo, that's a C. So, so like for me, for example, like when I do have the babies, like my whole to do list be be on things that I can can get done home. You know what I mean? It like the meditation can always do that, or you know what I mean? Making 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 uh, orders, but I try not to put things on my list where. I'm going to have to leave out the house and take the kids with me and all that. Mm -hmm. Now, if it was nice outside, then yeah, but if not, yo, like, see see me, like, I'm the type of person where I got to be organized and, and structured. If mm -hmm. I'm not structured, so if I got a bunch of things and it's on my list and I know, damn, I'm not going to be able to get this shit done because the kids with me, it messes with me. So mm -hmm. I'll be like, damn. So I start to feel bad. When mm -hmm. I start to feel bad, I start to carry on that 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 whole that whole vibe mm -hmm. so if i know that i plan on having the babies i just put things on that list that's going to help me feel like i can accomplish it 
Because when you start to, like, just like you said, you scratching the things off, that joint make you feel good. When you start feeling good, you carry on that energy. Absolutely. That's how Absolutely. you can just keep on attracting, like, more things. But, like, 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 at the end of the day, when you ain't got nothing scratched off, you feel like you just got your ass whooped by the day. <laughs> That's how I feel today. But that, yeah. you know what, like you said, I just chalked it up as a rest day. Like, ah, right, you know what? When I don't really get too much time with them. I see I get the baby every Thursday, so I get more time with him. But I don't get time with them. So like we 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 just got finished playing board games. We play uh well, we just played Connect Four. Now we're about to play Sorry. So I was like, you know what? Forget that whole to do list. Like we I'm spending time with my family. You know what I'm saying? I'm with the girls. I ain't even gonna be on no run about because at first when they when they first came in, I'm running behind them, picking up behind them, like going crazy. I was like, you know what? I'm about to just sit. That's my granddaughter. Don't don't pay her no mind. That's her one day telling some what what's up. Um Oh yeah. That's her. I'm just I'm just sitting I'm I mean you can pay her no pay her mom, but that's her. I'm sitting in the corner like, you know what? I ain't even about to be sitting up here chasing behind them, trying to pick up behind them and yo, know, everything they was doing, I just kept trying to run behind them. I was like, nah, yo, you know what? Nah, you I'm about to just enjoy yo, the moment. That joint will make you go crazy. Straight go crazy. Straight go crazy. No. Zanon, yo, here, watch me clean up something he just did and go do it again. I'll be like, <laughs> oh, my God. Yo, see me, like, when it comes to, like, the sheets, right, the sheets that's, that's on the bed, like, he jump on the bed, and once, like, the corners come up, that gets to me. Like, mentally, I'm like, yo, now nah, I got to have <laughs> the corners on my sheets. He just keep jumping, and all the corners come off, just nonstop. <laughs> my mom be like, oh, my God. I'll be like, nah, yo, <laughs> like, yo, he jumped to the whole sheet come off. Be- <laughs> yo, that would drop me nuts. That drop me mm-hmm. nuts. But um, look, I was talking earlier in my story about when you, how you, how you was holding me a- accountable when I was kicking in the morning. I was kicking in with you, telling you what my ideas was. Yeah. He's like, so let me tell y'all. He's like, all right, so I'm telling them what to do, what to do, what I wanted to do, whatever. You know what I'm saying? So he's like, all right, so what's your goal? What's your purpose? What you trying to do this for? I tell him what my goal is, my purpose is. And he like, oh, why? Right, so come out the box. Think like this. Do this. Do that. Expand it. Don't just be thinking like this. You know, you're keeping yourself, you know, inside of a box. Bring yourself out so you can grow with it. So your idea can grow and flourish. So I'm like, all right, yeah, cool. So now this is something, and I'm not going to put it out there now because it's in the making. But this is something I've been saying I've been wanting to do for a while. And he know, like, like he's one of my accountability partners. My brother's one of my accountability partners. So whenever I come up with a good idea, I always come at him because he's never going to tell me, no, you can't do it. Because we had that mindset. We could do anything. Both of us bodybuilders, you know what I'm saying, parents. We both um, entrepreneurs. So it's like, whatever you want to do, you could do it. As long as it don't sound like, as long as I, he knows that it's something that, that I would love and I would enjoy. So I tell him what it is. He gives me ideas. Do this, do that, do this, do that. And I'm like, all right, all right, all right, all right. Then he just bust out like, I'm giving you all of this because I, before before I do it. And I'm like, or before I take it, I'm like, I just, I, you should, I, I was looking at my phone like, so I, text, <laughs> I, I text him, I was like, you going to take what? And he's like, I'm, I'm going to take these ideas. I'm like, I'm going to take my ideas? Like, damn. And I was like, that ain't hey, yo, even so, him, yo. <laughs> hey, yo, nah, so, so that was more so like another way of me saying, yo, this is a a dope ass idea, you know what I mean? Like, like if you don't jump on this, then I will, cause somebody should, you know what I mean? But Word. you doing it? That's that's what's up. That's what's up. You know what I mean? Plus, exactly. plus, plus, like I kind of like, I kind of like view things like this, right? So we never know like when it's gonna be our our like a uh, last day. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So that's why I jumped on the YouTube wave, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Because you know how, like, the old timers, they used to be, like, you know, they talk to their kids, like, yo, when I was your age, I was doing this, I was doing that. Now, nah, you're going to be able to see what I was doing. Absolutely. You know I mean? And even once we leave on, we pass on to this earth, the information that we place here on this earth, the people that view it, they're going to be able to benefit from it. Mm-hmm. And that's how you benefit, like, even when you in, like, like the hereafter. after. That's how you mm-hmm. keep on benefiting. And the people that watch it, and when they show their people, they benefit. You benefit as well. The mm-hmm. people that keep on benefiting from it, that's why when it comes to 
writing out books or if you create a school, as long as people gain it from it, you going you going that's that's knowledge that that that, that, that keeps going placed out here. Yep. So yep. so when you jump on the gram or when you put any type of information out there that people could learn from, that shit gonna always come back to you. Yep. And, Just like books. Books the books and, always books always stay. And like when it comes to like the flip side, if you putting out negativity out here and people is getting harmed from it, that's going to come back to you. That's oh, why, okay. like, in the Bible, it says that, that you know, Satan, he was, like, the first person that caused, uh, like, death. Cause, mm -hmm. Because when it came to, like, to Cain and Abel, so all them bodies is tracing back to them, tracing back to them, tracing back to them. The same thing. When you do right, the more people that benefit from it, it come back to you. When you do mm -hmm. wrong, the people that become harmed by it, it come back to you. That's mm -hmm. why you got to keep on putting that positive energy out there. You know what I mean? The yeah. bracelets you making, that's positive energy out there. The more Absolutely. that you keep on, you pushing that brand, you selling it to people, they benefiting from it, it's going to come back to you. Word. That's Yo, somebody, somebody just told me, one of my homeboys, that um, I think he started buying bracelets off the summer. And he told me he was like the little card that come in the in the in the pack with the bracelet. He was like the intention on it. He's like I keep it in my pocket. He's like, I put it in my wallet. He said he's like no BS. He's like sis. He 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 works for um public service, and he his plan was to quit that job and go into his real estate full time. He just posted up the other day that he like some type of special executive now in real estate, and he was like no bullshit. He's like I don't take your bracelet off. He's like I keep the card in my wallet. He's like, he's like, I never believed in this. He's like, but now I do. He's like, because I swear, the moment I bought that bracelet and put that intention in my wallet, he was like, I've been getting sales out the ass. And he was like, and now he's like, he just posted up. I was like, I was like, yo, I'm proud of you, yo. He was like, you just don't know. And I knew what that meant. That meant like since that day, he's like, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just keeping the flow going. I'm, I'm just keeping, yeah, because it's all up in here. And once it's planted, I plant that seed. I planted that seed. And once that seed was planted, all he had to do was keep watering it and keep flourishing with it. And now he soared off. I don't know if he quit his job yet, but he just posted it up, I think, this morning that he's some type of executive now in real estate. I was like, wow. And I That's remember stuff. him saying that he was, that, that was his goal. And that was just this summer, so less than a year. And less than a year. So you're absolutely right. When you plant that, that positive energy, it stays. It stays and it stays. Even when, when I go, somebody's going to still remember where it started from or where it came from. It came from this one. And they're going to say, well, I got it from that one. Or oh, I got it from Chevelle when she was here. So, yeah, that, that makes a lot of sense. That makes a lot of sense. And, that, um, and that's, that's another way of holding yourself accountable. When, when, I, when, I, when I think that, and I want to go back to accountability, when I think about the fact that people tell me, I swear, when people get, my, get the braces and how, how much they love them, that, that right there ain't enough. That's enough for me. That in itself makes me just feel great. Because I'm like, all right, I plan to see. That's all I need. I just plan to see. And the fact that they love it, and they're wearing it, and they got their intention card, and they know I planted that seed of whatever that intention card is, and now in their mind, it's like, all right, this, this is what the bracelet says, or this is when I wear this, this is the energy I'm carrying for the day. Chevelle put that, in, put that in my mind. So they come back to me and tell me, I just held them accountable. I held them accountable without having to link up with them every single day. Just them yeah. knowing, like, you know what I'm saying? Just them knowing, like, like she did this. She started, so just me knowing that I sent out that positive vibe. So yeah, you're right. You're right. I never that's thought of it like that. Fire. That's fire. That's why even like the text messages that you send out, like in the morning time, like when you shoot those out to people, and when that joint hit them, the first thing in the morning time, you already know that first hour. That's where your subconscious mind is is, is open. That's why you gotta feed your joint. So when you're doing that, that's holding people accountable as well. Like it's so many ways. Like you know what I mean? Like I think some people, they kind of get, like, a negative thing from it. Like, yo, you holding me accountable. Nah, why you on me? Why? Nah, like, you want people to be on you. That's your life. That's Absolutely. growth. Absolutely. And time is valuable, man. Like, if people really understood how valuable time is, they would take that shit way more serious. Yo, when I say time, you and we had a conversation about this. To me, you waste my time, it's like you robbing me. Like, you straight came in my face and, 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 like, straight ran my pocket. That's how I look at time. Because 
especially being an entrepreneur, you already know, time is valuable. Like, I'm sitting here kicking it with you. I could be over here making braces. I could be, I could be doing something towards my business right now. And even though I'm not, maybe somebody didn't buy something at that moment, but just me making that bracelet that costs $40, that's $40. That's, that's money that I'm making because somebody's going to buy that off of me. That's my time. So instead of me doing that, I'm out with this person or talking to this person. But if you wasting my time, you straight round, I'll let you run my pocket. I want to get mad at that person. I get mad at myself. Like I just let this person run my pocket. Like you just straight rob me in my face when you, when you waste time. Time is so valuable. So, and that's what I started doing on my to-do list too. Like the, um, the pad we got, it don't have the times on it. So I had to start writing the times on there. And that's another way of holding myself accountable. Yo, that's because, that's for real right there. Like when you put the time on the on on a to do list, that yo you can you can yo you maximize on your twenty four hours like a motherfucker. Yo, like, that's that's that shit is next level. Because when you are doing that, you are not gonna let nobody bullshit you because you know at this time this shit need to be done. So when somebody on the phone with you and they only hop on a call and that shit stretched to 45 minutes. Yo, bro. I got to go. <laughs> I'm going to go. Word. Because now I you're cutting go. into my time. Yo, like, if people understood the value of time, yo, like, do you know that, let's say if, I, let's say if I tell you I'm going to call you back in like, in like, in like 10 minutes. If I don't call you back, like, there was a reason why I said I was going to call you back in 10 minutes. Now, if I don't act on that, I shift my whole world by 10 minutes because there's mm -hmm. something that could have happened. Mm -hmm. now, if I don't do it, now Now you shift your whole day. You shift, now you shift your whole productivity now. That's not just that 10 minutes that, that, that shifts. You shift every 10 minutes within your day. That's a lot of time. So you can't wow. just look at it like, yo, nah, I told dude that I was going to be there in 10 minutes, but if I get there in 15 minutes, he'd be all right. Like, nah. you don't know what that man had going on. Yeah. You know what I mean? Now, now people be humble, say, like, right, nah, you good. But, yo, you never know what that person really had going on. So you short that man's time by five minutes. Now, because I don't care about my time, that don't mean that person don't. But you, mm -hmm. yo, 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 like, five, yo, you could lose your job by coming in five minutes late. That shows you like, for how real. valuable that shit is. Money. These workers ain't playing about they shit. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, These companies, like they want they shit. Yep. So if you're coming in late, five minutes late, bro, that's especially if you work inside these warehouse jobs, yo, you can get a lot done in five minutes. Absolutely. And not for nothing, when you're relieving somebody, you taking it, you embarking on that time. That's not fair to them. Somebody who just did their whole eight or 12 hour shift or 10 hour shift. Now you, you taking, you saying, oh, it's only five minutes. Nah. They probably gotta go get their kids for a babysitter. And now they five minutes late. Like, like for real, you see how the trickle effect can go? Now they five minutes late. Exactly. And then you get to the you get to daycare, and that person who who had the had the child, they may have to go get their child in five minutes, you know, they in that little time. And that five minutes could easily turn into 10, 15 minutes because you have to get yourself together, get, you know, pack up things, close your shop down, or whatever the case may be, and then travel to where you gotta go. But because you came five minutes late, now I'm throwing off 10 minutes. Then that next person, it's a whole domino effect. So we we that's being selfish. That's being selfish. You thinking, oh, it's only five minutes. Now nah, you're being selfish. Especially when it comes to relieving somebody or when other people are affected by your five your five minute, only five minutes of being late for something. So yeah, that, that's that's dead, that's so true. And all that trace back to being accountable. Like, like if I don't hold myself accountable, then you know that's yo. That shit is real, you know what I mean? And and I understood, like, how the world was once I signed up for that program that Reef got. That program right there, like, 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 when you, like, when you paying for something, first of all, it's way more than you just got your homeboy that's just doing it. Like, when you paying for a program, you, like, it's kind of like you paying for a coach, you know what I mean? Absolutely. Like, Absolutely. every time, every time you come into this session, you paying me to push you outside your limits. You know how great you gonna be. <laughs> like, Word. Like, Word. like, 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 you paying me to max out on your pecs, your back muscles, your shoulders. Yo, Word. I remember when I was training with Marley. Yo, 
Marlon would say, Marlon would say, listen, I need you to max out and give me 10 more. Yo, like, Marlon was no joke. You're not going to do that on your own. You're not nah. doing it on your own. Nah. <laughs> you want me to go into no. failure and give you 10 more? <laughs> <laughs> what? Like, I don't have it. Yes, you do. And it's crazy. That's so true, though. Because That's so you true. find it. Like, you, you find still it. find that shit. That shows you, like, when you got somebody that's 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 holding you accountable, you gonna push past your your so called wall. Like that shit ain't no wall. That's just that like that it's wall annoying. is based off your comfort zone. Yep. That's and that when I was a personal trainer, I used to always tell people that I'm like, my job is to get you to break that wall. You got a wall. Everybody got a wall. But once you break that wall, you now start believing in yourself and you start realizing that I could do it. Cause when you get when you hit that wall, like, I can't do it. Like most of like anybody, do me a favor, go in the refrigerator and at the bottom you want these little little things, little get it from me. Um we we all all of us, we all see a wall. When you see a wall, period in life, you see a wall, you think, I can't get through that wall. Yes, you can. You gotta find something, find something around you, break that shit down. You can get through that wall, and that same thing in our brain. It's always a wall or a physical body. It's a wall that's that we feel like, nah, I can't I, I did that twenty five, or sometimes we even get in our head that number. I stopped doing numbers. I stopped doing numbers. I'll say, oh, I'm only going to do 25 sets. Well, yes, I'm going to do 25 reps. I get 25, I'm done. But then I realized, like, no, I could have did, like, a whole five more. So now that's my training mentality, thanks, thanks to Marlon. That's my training mentality. If, if, if I go 20 and I'm struggling with the last two, oh, I straight got to do five more. I got five more. And at that point, I might even do three. I'm going to get them other two because now I set in my mind that I got to push for that next five. And that's why you always hear me saying, and you say it too, these are five that count, or these are the ones that count right here. Because now you're breaking down that wall and you're reaching a whole nother level. You're hitting the next level. Oh, and, and uh, real, real, real quick commercial break. Um, uh, I got to take my immune. I'm, I'm, I'm extremely late. I used to take my immune system shot. Anybody check it out. Immune, bo- oh, wait, wait. immune booster shot by... The real beneficial. The real beneficial. The ingredients, beets, lemon, ginger, blood, orange, pineapple, mixed berries, cayenne pepper, turmeric, pomegranate, elderberry, sea moss. Get your immune booster shot. Take them every day. Boost those immune systems up. All right, back to the regular schedule uh, program. <laughs> hey, hold it real quick. Listen, if you don't know about them shots, man, them shots right there is everything we need, right? So I created those shots last year i believe last year was when uh we first had the first COVID, or it was about 2020 2020 so two years ago that's when i first created them shits because like when COVID first came yo that shit was whooping niggas out like i ain't never seen no shit like that yo yo serious you know how they had the swine flu and all that other shit that just come and go when that shit didn't come and go, I'm like, oh, nah, I got to go in the kitchen. I got to, like, I got to whip up some shit. And that's how that came about. But I created those, and those was the 16-ounce smoothie jars. But them shits is so powerful, niggas was like, yo. You burn, you straight burn your chest. <laughs> that shit burn your chest. That shit burn everything it passed by. Word. You know what I mean? So I was got- like, <laughs> So I was like, nah, like, if I turn these into these two-ounce shots, these shits is that potent that them two-ounce shots is it. Got this, and, and, and on top of that, it got everything that people be buying from me. The sea moss, the elderberry, the turmeric, the ginger, the lemon, mm-hmm. the pomegranate. Yo, that shit is so, the beets. I take shit. my shot faithfully every day. Every Yo. day. Middle, I take one in the morning. I do another, I do a um immune system pace in the morning. That one is um I make that with ginger, turmeric, lime, lemon, and honey. And this it, it, that's another one. It got a, it got a, a weird taste to it, but let me tell you, I ain't been sick. I ain't been sick. The most I'll be having is my sinuses, and that's what I can say too. Since I've been taking these shots, my sinus infection, my sinus infections have been going down. I, I'm like one with my allergies and my sinuses all of a sudden became like all year long. But since I've been taking those shots, it's been it's been keeping my my sinuses at bay. So I've been straight. And that's the thing too, like like when you adapt the mindset that it's not about taste, because like you got to think right, like 
the things that we do eat just because it tastes good, the minute it passes your tongue, it ain't benefiting nothing else. So, so you know, what I mean? so when it comes to like, like the health and all that stuff, I really don't care about the taste. Nah. Now, now I got to a point to where I, like I like the sea moss gel raw, the black seed oil Word. raw, oregano oil raw, like yeah. all that shit raw. Because yeah. you already know, like. It's not just about the taste buds. It's about what it's actually going to do once it gets inside the system. The benefits. And I think, and, and not for nothing, we both competed as bodybuilders. So we already know, like, exactly. I've had, I've had, like, some, like, all right, we got class, right? So they're saying that, like, we don't know about having a, a refrigerator or a microwave. So my, my accountability partner, my study partner, she texted me, like, they're saying they don't know about having a refrigerator or, um, or a microwave. I was like, <laughs> you don't understand. I was like, I'm straight. She's like, you. She's like, you, what you want? How you want to keep your food cold? I, I got like meal bags that can carry up to three meals all the way up to eight meals. I was like, and they hold the ice Eight pack. meals. Yo, I got, because we used to be out all day long at them bodybuilding shows. That's a refrigerator. That it's a straight refrigerator, yo. I used to have like all my meals for the day in there. So I was like, I was like you can hold eight meals in there and they got the, the uh, ice packs in them. And she was like, so what, what you going to do about warming up? I was like, girl, when I used to have to eat a meal, and I text my coach and say, ain't no microwave. Coach was like, ain't no microwave. You better pull that food out and eat it. I would straight eat straight tilapia cold. Tilapia. When you can eat, when you eat tilapia and asparagus cold, taste Yo, don't mean asparagus. Nothing. Taste don't mean nothing. Yo, asparagus, like, it's already hard. When you eat it cold. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo. The first time I had to do that, I was like, Yo, what did I sign up for? What am I doing? Then after a while, you be so hungry, and like you it said, you know the benefits. It don't even matter, and you know the benefits. Like, like again, I know, like I, I this, and this is how we can talk. Go back to accountability. When you have coaches, I used to have a coach, and all my coaches would say, "Don't look at the meal as a like a like food, like like oh, good food to the soul." Nah, look at it like every time you put that meal in your body, you're building this 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 art form, this physique. That you're looking for on stage. So every time you're eating that food, just imagine your body on stage. Imagine you in front and center winning the show. So every time I ate my food, I ain't think about like no no taste. Sometimes, you know, when you get close to the end, you can't even season your food. Like straight, <laughs> just all you do is spray your uh your cooking oil you want. I mean your um your cooking spray on top, throw that junk in the oven, and it's straight bland. Boil you chicken. Boy, you ah, yo, <laughs> yo, Boy, you can't you put chicken. no condiments on your joint, no nothing, nothing at them last two, three weeks. Nah, so and 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 literally, I would just eat every time I would eat my food, I'd just be looking like I'm winning, I'm winning, I'm winning. When that, and that thought of winning would take the whole my mindset would straight go off of the whole like it's no taste on it, that don't even matter. So, this right here, I don't even, I don't, all I know is I gotta take it because I need my immune system to be strong. I don't even care about all that. I just know I got to get a little burn for a second, and I'm good. I'm straight. I, I view it as that burn is burning out all of the nonsense that's inside of me that don't need to be here. That's how I, everything with me. I always gotta, I always gotta put it with something like, all right, that burn is burning away all the germs inside. It's going. But that's so, how I feel. That bro, as doing? soon as I take that joint, like <laughs> mucus, I'll be like, damn, bro. But yeah, that's what it's about, you know. And that's why, like. Back when I was training, like, it's difficult for me to train certain clients that they don't have that mindset. They be, like, because, like, when you've been a trainer, you understand, like, listen, you understand the way that, like, the time that it takes for you to, like, prep the food, for you to cook the food, for you to do all this. So I know for a fact that if I give a client four meal plans, they're not going to be able to follow all four meal no, plans. No. Like, it's too much for you to cook all your food that's on that 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 first plan mm -hmm. so when i get people be like yo i gotta eat i gotta eat the same shit for two three days yo listen i'm trying how to bad you out how like, bad like, you want exactly it. like i'm trying to i'm trying to i'm trying to break it down to you and tell you listen if i gave you three four meal plans what you gonna do you going you gonna cook all your breakfast at the same time all your lunch at the same time no you can't do that just focus on this one plan because cause first of all, you need to stick to that plan so you can see some type of change. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because 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 I need to see if this plan is going to work for you. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I give a client that plan. The first 
the first two weeks that let me know. Well, that first of all, if they following that shit, then that shit let me know. All right, cool. You you need this. If not, mm -hmm. I gotta take away this. Gotta take away that. They be like, yo, I can't eat this. Yo, this one dude, yo. First of all, this dude not only was he he vegan, he was an alkaline vegan, right? And he was trying to gain size. Now, when you're trying to gain size on an alkaline plan, you already like you limited. Like you mm -hmm. so limited. This shit is mm -hmm. crazy. So I gave him I gave him the first plan. I said, listen, just follow this and I'm gonna give you another plan in two, three days, because when you get tired of this, you're going to this. Before I even got a chance to create the plan, he said, bro, I can't eat this for no... I'm like, bro, listen, I just told you to follow this, and in two, three days, I'm going to have a whole nother plan of, 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 for you or whatever. Yeah. He, said, he said, all right, so before the end of the day was over, he, <clears> up, he hit me up again. I cashed that back his money. Like, hey, bro. <laughs> hey, bro. You ain't going to... Yo, nah. <laughs> you ain't doing this. You know what I mean? You ain't doing this to me. You know what I mean? Take your bread back. The meal plan I gave you, have that for free, and just go ahead, right? So, look, time. right? Maybe I got time for that. No, I don't. Yo, a month later, he hit me up. He said, you think you got time to make those four other plans? I ain't even respond back. I ain't even <laughs> nah, bro. I ain't even respond back. He would have got blocked, but I was like, nah, you know what I mean? But people don't understand, like, yo, like, you got to have discipline. It ain't, it ain't like, you got to have discipline. I don't give a fuck what I put on that meal plan. You need to have discipline. If you ain't got no discipline, you can have five, six, seven different meal plans. You're not going to be able to follow different. it because you're not disciplined. So work on being disciplined. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Absolutely. But, and that's um that's why I stopped training people. I I, I couldn't I my because you know what too, with me and I know how my mindset is. If you don't, if you're not in it the way I'm in it, then it's it's just gonna turn me off. So that's why I can't. I I just tell people all the time like nah. I I, I hated it. I did not like training people. I did not. I did because for me. This is what I did for myself, and I know how hard I go. You already know. Anybody that knows me know how hard I go. When I set my mind to one thing, oh, I'm going all the way to the max with it. Like, I'm maxing out. What's the top? What's the, what's the top? Um, that's my goal. I ain't, I ain't about to be sitting here playing with this and, and, and tiptoeing and staying at this level. Nah, yo. That's why I'm in grad school right now. Once I started, once I was working in a job and I realized that these little 30-year-olds going to come in and be my supervisor and talk to me crazy, I say, nah, y'all need to be at the top. I need to be at the top. What, what, what I need to do? Oh, I got to go for, for a master's and, and PhD next? I'm going for it because I can't be at no bottom of nothing. And that's just always been my mindset. So with that personal training stuff, and even now, people are like, well, can you just create a, a, a meal plan for me? Nah, yo. I'll life coach you. I'll life coach you, which, which would be basically me holding you accountable. So we'll check in every week if you want to pay for every week, if you want to pay every two weeks. And I'm just asking you, what did you do on your on your plan? How's it been going? Have you noticed any moving on your scale? But I be telling them, you gotta you gotta hire a whole other trainer outside of me. I'm just gonna hold you accountable. I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna give you the steps that you need to take to start your your process of weight loss or or your happy physique. You know, I'm gonna tell you, okay, um, you gotta start. You gotta get with somebody who's gonna do a meal plan for you. You gotta uh start buying your food. I'm, I'm gonna give you all the all of the blueprint, like you say. I'm gonna give you the blueprint to it. But I'm not creating that blueprint for you. I don't have it. That, and I'm not one where I just go to a file and I just say, weight loss plan. Okay, you can have this one. Game plan, you can have this one. Shred plan. Nah, what's your job? What do you do for a living? Oh, I drive buses. So now I got to take consideration that you cannot, in the middle of the day or whatever your shift is, mm -hmm. you can't sit down and eat. So now I'm, I'm trying to think, all right, can you pack a little, have a couple shakes on a, you know, on, on a bus with you, just take them shakes down? I'm creating these, I'm telling these, these meal plans for you. And if you to come, I don't care whether you paid me or not. That's still my time. Like, I could have been doing, I could make my food in that time. I could have been at the gym. I could have been spending time with my granddaughters. I could have been, you know, I could have been doing so much other stuff. Money ain't always, ain't, ain't always it. You can have that money. That time, don't waste my time. And that's why people be saying that, like, yo, you, you, you sure you can't, you can't just create a plan for me? Nah. 
I don't care. I don't care. I I'll pay whatever. I know you probably will, but I'm straight. I'm good. I'm good. I'm I don't I don't nope. Because people don't take it as serious, and some people don't. They're not ready for the accountability. Like if you come at me and you saying you want to be a life coach, I'm holding you accountable. I'm hold like I get on them sessions and I'm like, okay, so um, what was the plan? The first thing I start off with in my sessions, you know, how's everything? How's everything been going? Unless it's something really, really, really serious, then we're gonna put, you know, we're gonna put everything to the side and we're gonna jump into that. But I'm like, before we get into what's been going on, how you do with this? How you do with that? How you do with this? How you doing that? Oh, you playing? You playing? What's going on? You playing? Get back on track. Now tell me how what's been going on in your life that we need to talk about. Yeah, I'm I'm straight. I'm that accountability partner for real. And that's how it is. I mean, like, like when you're paying somebody to hold you accountable, like, you know what I mean? You have to be willing to, to, to take it. Like, yo, Reef used to be on my ass. That and second Reef, go round. Reef is next level, yo. Reef yo. Is next level. I yo, used to hate him. Like, yo, he get on my nerves. Yo, he would, he would like, like, and, and it's crazy because, like, I would be scratched off my, my whole list. He'd be like, bro, nah, bro. Like you ain't tapping in yet. I'm like, bro, what you mean? I ain't he's like, bro, I know you, bro. Like, bro, you have another layer in you that you that that you haven't really tapped into yet. But like, damn, this dude right here, yo. <laughs> this dude right here, like, like what you gonna call a mountain? What like, I'm gonna do? Bro, like, like, bro, I'm scratching off, I'm scratching off anything. Like, what more do you want? <laughs> like, what did he want? Nah, see. Because because he know me, and I mean me me and Reef been rocking since two thousand and twelve. Yeah. So he know he know me here. He know that I got it here. He know that if I'm not on on social media and if I'm not talking as much, then something is on my mind. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Because because mm -hmm. because like when he create a plan for me, his plan is I right, I need to figure out how to get it to 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 really push into his is lame because it's not just mm -hmm. about you posting workout vids you posting this, you posting that nah your shit is you got it when it comes to the 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 education the knowledge mm -hmm. you need to focus on that you know what i mean like you like you really gotta see and and that's the thing like like yo i've been i've been training people from 2012 up until last year right mm -hmm. it, it wasn't until the last year that I figured out that all clients is not for me. You know what I mean? You need to find your own niche. Find your own niche and just focus on that. My thing is the education. A lot of trainers out here, they don't really understand that shit. They don't. Mm -hmm. know. They it's after the money. money. It's after the money. Exactly. And that's the thing also because when you just a full-time trainer and you're using that money to pay your bills, to do this, to do that, now you in a position where you feel like you have to take on every client because mm -hmm. you need that money. So mm -hmm. you can't be the best trainer that, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, so me, I'm more so a hard gainer. Mm -hmm. So when it comes to anybody that's trying to gain weight, that's trying to put on size, put on muscle, I know that shit like the back of my hands. That's all mm -hmm. I've been about since 2008. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But when you're in a position... You know what I mean? Like, yo, you got these bills coming in. You're going to take on this trend. You're going to take on it. You're going to take on that. It, so, now, so now, that's not your lane. So that's how it is. So, Reef, he's like, bro, I know when you just on the grand post and just to keep yourself relevant. Nah, bro. Mm. You need to tap into your shit, the information, the knowledge. That's that's where you at. Because I just so happen to be the type of person that love to research shit. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. I understand. Like and, and on top of that, even though I'm plant based now, I once wasn't plant based. So I know how to help people that's that's not plant based. I know how to help people that is plant based. I know how to help people that's alkaline. I know how to help people that's on a raw diet. I know, you know what I mean. So mm -hmm. he's like, bro, you need to give them that shit. You know what I mean? Mm. Like, like, bro, you been you be like you been posting workout videos since 2012. You know what I mean? Like that's that's. That's filler shit. That shit that's just gonna help keep this shit filled up. Nah, mm -hmm. tap to that next level that you got. So that's how he be on me. Now I'm scratching wow. off shit, scratching off shit, but he like, bro, you scratching off shit, but you still ain't tapping into that shit that you need to tap into. Wow. <laughs> so and, you wasn't you wasn't breaking that wall. You was and he could see that, that shit. Wall. 
You know what I mean? He can he can see that shit because man, he been rocking since since the past ten years now. Ten years, yeah. Two thousand twelve. Wow. I think that's why I stick with you so much with with accountability because because like, yo, that message that the other morning, that that yo, <laughs> like, even tonight, even tonight, I was like, man, I didn't have these kids, I didn't had that baby for over twenty four hours. This is so I'm so out of my element. I feel like I'm so off my game right now. I was like. We could just do this live tomorrow. I mean, we do this live next week. I was like, I was like, nah, yeah, he gonna fuck around and take my shit, yo. <laughs> he gonna take my shit. <laughs> I was like, nah, he gonna take my shit, yo. I'm jumping on tonight. I don't care how tired I am. I'm gonna jump on tonight, yo. See how that accountability helped? That fire. You lit that exactly. fire under me. And that's what it's about. That's I'm like, nah, he ain't gonna take my idea because I'll be sitting there watching you like, yo, I, we, I remember us having this conversation that I was the one that's supposed to be doing this. And now look. Yeah, nah, you wasn't you what you 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 won with that one. You got that one off. You won with that one. I was like, yeah, he know me. He know me because you know I've been saying this. You've been saying this, and, and it almost made me feel like, and this is me. It almost made me feel like, yo, you've been saying this to me, but you still ain't making no. We've been talking about. I think we started talking about this like a year ago. I it was like literally like a year ago. You probably like, ah, right, you keep saying this, but you ain't doing nothing. I'm gonna take this shit. Yo, when I saw that text, I just looked at the phone like. Did he just tell me to my face he gonna take my idea, yo? Like <laughs> yo. that shit was, but that's that accountability. And I, and I know exactly who I don't hit up people that's gonna be like, nah, you can do nah, yo. No, I don't want no um what do you call them? Uh yes man. Nah. I need you to be like, like I got people down to one of my former students. She now does my hair. She went once I told her I was gonna um become an entrepreneur. Yo, every week she's sending me something new. She's sending me, like, she just screenshot. She just starts sending me a whole bunch of stuff. she be like, start making these. I'm like, this is, but I see what she's doing. She see, like, people going to buy that. Start making these. Start doing this. Start doing that. Start doing this. Start doing that. And I'll be, crack, be cracking up because I'm like, yo, she went from being my student and I was the teacher to now she's the teacher because she's been doing this. She, been, she, she gave me the jobs and started doing hair. I watched her doing hair since she was in eighth grade. Doing here, and I watched her. Now she's you my was beautician. teaching her. She's my eighth grade student. Wow. She's now my. She's now my beautician. She's now my beautician. That's fire. Mm-hmm. And now I'm the student. Now, and, and and that's another. That's another thing. When you gotta humble yourself to understand, to in order to be a good leader, you have to be a great student. So I'm now a good. I, I don't sit there and look at it like she's 30 years old and I'm I'm 42. Nah, she been in this. She know. I'm I, she, every time she screenshot shot stuff. I'll, I'll go and I'll, and I'll screenshot and show her. Like I, I looked it up, I see how much it is. I got it in my cart. I'm gonna go ahead and order the stuff and start making it. And she always, she always um screen, she always uh, reposts my stuff and she'll say, "This is my big, my big daughter who listens to my." She she give my advice to everybody. She said nobody listens to her. She said you're the only one that listens to me because I'm watching you do it. I watched you from a kid grow doing hair to now actually having your own LLC salon in your house doing your thing. She now, but you know, she's now looking for a, a place to do it outside because the COVID came and everything. But I watched you, so to me, you won. You a winner. Why wouldn't I listen to you? You winning. Why wouldn't I listen to you? I'm new to this. Yo, that's yo. That's see, and that's another thing that people got to stop doing, right? It's like people equate money to to winning. So it's like if 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 I don't look like I'm that person that that's that that got the bag, they don't want to listen to me. Yo, listen, yo, I go. And it's crazy because when I hear these, these Diddy or like, you know, these, these, these so-called top guys talk about the same shit I be saying, like now, like people starting to understand the benefits of, of semen uh, retention. But I've been talking that shit. Mm -hmm. I heard Kevin Gates talking about that. I've been, I've been talking about that shit for years. You know what I mean? But if you don't look like you winning in life, people don't want to take advice from you. To me, that's crazy because winning is, is just a perception thing. You know what I mean? Yep. It's a mindset. It's a mindset. Yeah. It's a mindset. Like, to me, I'm successful in a motherfucker. Oh, I because I man. put my health before all that, that other shit. So it ain't about because that person ain't got a million dollars. Like, listen, this person could have a trillion dollars. If he ain't taking care of his health, what the fuck he really got? What he got? Because he he shortened his lifespan. Exactly. Shortening his lifespan. 
So you ain't really winning. You ain't really winning out here. So yeah, you're absolutely right. Winning is a whole. That's a, that's that's within you. Like all right, I set the goal of getting up every morning at five o'clock. That's something I used to do when I was younger. In my twenties, get up at five. I used to get up, not get up at five. I would be up at four. I'd be in a gym at four four forty five. And at that time, I had my son was younger, so I was doing it, going to the gym four forty five, getting dressed at the gym, run home, pick him up. Like even had him in a regimen. He'd be ready, dressed already, up, dressed ready, and waiting for me to pick him up, scoop him up. We go to, we go to school. I stopped doing it as I got older because I started going to the gym in the evenings. So I was like, ah, right, you know what? I want to get back to. I noticed that when I got up earlier, I had I got more accomplished in my day. So I was like, I want to get back to that. And I think you remember when I started telling you I'm getting up at five o'clock in the morning. So when I started getting to that regimen, when I did my little, my 90 days, like everything for me is 90 days. And if anybody out there don't know, it takes 21 days to build a break of habit and 90 days to make it a lifestyle. So my goal was to make it a lifestyle. So 90 days straight, getting up at five o'clock in the morning. I don't care what time I went to bed the night before, I got up at five o'clock. And this is my routine. I write out my to-do list. I write out my gratitude, always give gratitude to, you know, to the higher, to your higher being, to the source, because the more you show that you're grateful for the little things, I'm grateful for this little bottle of water, I'm going to keep getting more, keep getting more, keep getting more. No, you could be broke as hell, but you're going to find a way. It's going to be a way the universe is going to find to provide you with this water. So I would do my regimen, my gratitude, my, um, just reflect on how one of my, I would, I would speak my day into existence. When I, when I, when I finished that 90 days, I won. I was a winner. And my I was a winner. Twenty one days I I was winning. I was winning. But when I reached that ninety days, I was a winner. So but like you said, people equated to money. That ain't got nothing to do with money. Well, actually it does. Actually it does because it builds discipline. And once you got that discipline, you can now go build money. The overall thing. That see and see and and and, and that's what like most of these books, the secret and thinking and grow rich, like they not mm -hmm. teaching you how to get money, they teach you how to how to that, and that's gonna be able to get money. That's gonna be able to get this and that and this and that. So that's like to me, that's 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 winning. Yeah, you know what I mean, it is. Like, it's so always it's up like, in here. Winning is always up in here. It's always so, up in here. So it's not all about an age thing, like how you said. Like she's like you know what I mean, she was she was my student, so. I, nah, like, like it's not about no age thing. It's about like what that person is doing in life. You know what I mean? Absolutely. <laughs> and not for nothing, too. I'm I'm 42. She 30. She can enlighten me to a whole nother realm of of how to do things because she's from a younger generation. So now I'm not only catering to people my age. I can now learn how to cater to people that's in her age group and her bracket. Exactly. So she. Like, like what she screenshot me a couple days ago on something to expand on, I'm looking at it like, I wouldn't really like that. But it ain't really about me. You know what I'm saying? So if she's 30 years old and she's saying like, yo, you gonna make, you, 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 you start making these, you're going to make money. She knows something I don't know. She know that age group. They, they probably, I can now open and widen up my, 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 my business to a whole nother generation of people. I'm also thinking of like what I would want. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's cute for me, but I'm just thinking like I don't know. But it is something spunky where I see the younger generation now buying it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I'm like, you got, you got to be, you got to be in order to be a good leader. You got to be a good student. You got to be a good. And I don't like using the word follower. Got to be a good student. In order to be a good leader, a good teacher, you got to be a good student. You got to be open to all all ideas from everybody. I don't care what it is. Because people will say that you don't feel funny getting advice or you know your your student telling you. Nah, because well, number one, look what we're talking about. We're talking about somebody that was my student. I planted them seeds in her too. So exactly. and I and I know the seeds I planted was official. So if I planted the seeds in her, of course I'm gonna take some take the seeds back because I was the one that helped plant them seeds. You see? See how that go now. But if you got somebody who has that mindset, like, nah, I ain't gonna listen to this person. This person younger than me. You could be missing out on so many blessings in life. You never know. God may have blessed that person to give you information that'll bless you in life. But if you got that mindset, nah, that person is younger than me, or that person is homeless, that person broke, that person, yo, you could be losing out a lot. You'd be losing out. A homeless person, can you imagine the amount of experience that person must have? <laughs> right? 
to get homeless. Yes, they 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 got stories to tell. They got they got the they got the the they got the recipe of the don't. Exactly. Don't do this. Don't do that. Don't do this. Don't do exactly. that. They got the recipe of the don't. That's that's how I would take that. It's it's just again it goes back to that mindset. Like how how do you how do you view things? You got you got people that just that just look at things on one spectrum, and you got other people that stay on another spectrum. So if you, it just depends on where you at with. It. If you think everything, if everything for you is what you can't do, then you can't do it. But if everything is I can do it, then you'll be fine. And that's me. Every, you tell. I think I did a video on my story the other day. I think I did. I said, yo, tell me I can't do something. I'm now showing and proving that I could do it. And it's so funny. I just had a conversation with one of my good friends from high school. Um, she was like, she was saying, she's like, Val. She was like, yo, you always been one where. You got your drive is unmatchable. Like I don't know anybody that can match your drive. She was like, I tell people all the time. She was in, I was in high school pregnant. She's like, yo, she graduated with us. Like she never missed a beat. She she went had her baby that summer, was back in school, the first day of school in September, graduated high school, went straight to college, finished co- college, became a whole school teacher, went on and became a bodybuilder. She was like, yo, her drive is unmatchable. I don't know nobody with her drive. And I've always been like that because of course. Being a teenage parent back in the year of '96, that wasn't that wasn't um, it wasn't as common as it is now. When you were pregnant at at 15 years old back in '95 '96, it was just like you're not gonna make the odds was all the way against you. I made I made them odds straight in my favor, straight in my favor. I was like, oh nah, yo, I'm graduating and I'm going to college and I'm going to be a school teacher like I want to be. I'ma still keep on my dreams and I did. So to me, you tell me I can't do something. You all you doing is giving me way. You watering my my feet. You adding water. Come on, keep 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 telling me what I can't do. I'm about to show you. And now I'm learning. Oh, at being older, I'm now learning how to do it and do it quietly. Back then, it used to be you know I had I had to make noise about it. Now keep 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 on doing it because I'm just gonna pop up like bam. Remember you said I couldn't do it. I'm here now. I'm here. I got it. I did it. And that's the thing. Like that's why I love challenges, yo. Because if I'm not challenged, then then I get I get bored, and I don't really like care for it. Like like I get more motivated from somebody who feel like I can't do something. Because like and and yo, to me it's crazy. That's why I love that pressure. I love to put myself in a in a in a position where it's where it feel like I'm trapped. Cause that's when I really like go harder, but. If everybody telling me, bro, you got this shit, you got this shit, like, what the fuck is the purpose of even doing this shit? Like, like that's how I feel. That's why, like, when I was doing that challenge with Ted, it was just one person who said, y'all probably both ain't going to make y'all shit. I'm like, a word? Somebody said that? I swear to God. <laughs> Yo, what? Yo, he said that both of y'all probably, now that gave me that shit. That gave me that, that gave me that fight. If I ain't got no black, like, like if everybody's saying, nah, you got you got like now I ain't got I feel like I ain't got nothing to prove because I know I can do it. I know I got this shit. And everybody telling me you got this shit. So I mean they, they to them they look at it like that's easy. I feel like you know what I mean? Like like it's crazy because I almost feel like I need somebody to be like, nah, you ain't you ain't you ain't you ain't got it. Yo, that's why I love creating like these crazy ass challenges like 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 for myself. Doing doing ridiculous shit. Like I remember back when I first had jumped on the gram, like like my workouts, I would create my shit at home. Like, nah, that ain't hard enough. Go harder. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. I would create my shit in my head just so I could do this shit and, and get that accomplished feeling. Mm-hmm. Because mm-hmm. The, not like 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 I can't imagine being the type of person that just go to the gym. Hop on a treadmill, <laughs> do five sets of 15s, four sets of this. Yeah, it sounds boring. It's not so boring. That, right? That shit boring as hell to me. Oh, God. That whole shit is boring as hell. That's why, like, I jumped out that plane. I needed, like, I needed that because I felt like I don't fit nothing else. In 2018, mm-hmm. when I quit my job, I felt like, I just canceled all of my fears. So what the fuck? Like, I need something else. I swear that's how I feel right now. The moment, like, I worked all my life. The moment I quit my job in October, I felt like you can't. I'm not scared of nothing at this point. Yeah. I'm not scared of nothing at this point. Like, 
Like I got my whole my faith level went went through the roof. Like you, can, I, I don't fit anything at this point. When you quit your job, when you quit your job, when you know like all I gotta do is show up, and that used to be my thing. I used to say that like, man, all I gotta do is show up and I get paid. Like I'm good. I show up. But now, like knowing like I gotta show up, I gotta show out, I gotta put in that work, I gotta I gotta do a lot to like now my the time that my money depends on my time. Yo, what up, Ted? What's good, Ted? Yo, like for real though, for real that 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 yeah, I want to jump out of the plane. That's my next move. That's my next move. Telling you because. That's my next move. Yo, I'm just thinking about it right now. I'm scared. Like, yo, what? I was thinking. What the parachute going to open up? Because I was thinking. I'm like, yo, like, like I need something that's 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 kind of like like fearful. You know what I mean? I need something that's that's fearful, so I can do that shit. Just so I can have that feeling, and, and also like like when you when you face your so called your like your greatest fears. You feel like when it comes to anything that's beneath that and down, you smash it. Like, mm-hmm. like, like you smashing that shit. And, and you understand, like, the things you had to do to, to conquer that shit. Like, see, mm-hmm. people be looking at me, they be like, yo, nah, this dude's a daredevil. I was like, I wasn't always like that. I wasn't always like that shit at all. But really? I know how to face I went, that I wouldn't have thought that. Yo. Yo, oh, I ain't, okay. yo, I didn't get on my first roller coaster until I was 29 years old. Oh, yeah, you did tell me. Yo, <laughs> people used to try either. to pay me to get on them shits. Like, nah, you bugging. You bugging. When I got on my first roller coaster and I realized that was the best feeling that 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 I've experienced. That besides, was. <laughs> besides pussy. I'm like, oh, <laughs> I'm like, yo, <laughs> like all this time, like I've been running from this shit. I can't imagine the other things that's out there that, I'm running from that probably feel amazing. Word. And Word. remember, like, yo, so when I jumped out the plane, see, it's all about the mind. Your mind is going to trick you out of certain shit. So you got to learn how to beat your mind. I learned mm-hmm. how to beat that shit. Like, you beat your mind by, in that example, you pay for the shit. You, you mm-hmm. pay for it. Now, me, I'm not wasting no bread. Nah, I pay for that's, the whole package. It's too, right? That's yeah, expensive. I pay. Yo, I paid for the whole package, so you know that shit like maybe bring some change. I'm not, I ain't fuck that. Nah, I ain't got, I ain't got money like that to waste. Nah, I'm free. I'm now, going. now it was like it was like was two months out, which means you got two months to think about the shit. I'm not thinking about the shit. Every <laughs> time, can't. every time it come to my mind, I cancel that shit out the way, and I get that from the more that that like when you sit down, you close your eyes, you meditate, and thoughts come to your mind. You just let the shit pass. The shit come yep. and go. That's how you yep. meditate. Yep. So whenever the thought would try to come up, like yo, bro, like yo, we getting closer to we getting closer to that date to really jump out of fucking plane. Swipe, swipe. Let the shit swipe, swipe pass. Swipe. Yep. Yo, we was on a plane going up in the fucking air. The shit, the same shit. I'm I'm meditating. The thoughts are trying to tell me, yo, bro, you about to jump out of plane, letting that shit pass. Let that shit pass. Let that shit pass. It wasn't until they opened up the plane door and that cold <laughs> air came rushing in. I'm like, I right, it's too late to turn around now. Now I can think about shit all I want. I'm jumping out that shit. And the chick that I was with, she went first. Picture me not jumping out after she goes you straight, You're a straight punk. Like, you would have lost all respect for me. Exactly. You lost all respect from me. So now... I, I got, and you ain't come? Yo, so now I got the blueprint on how to face your fears. I'm doing that with everything. I came back here to pay for the trailer because I was procrastinating with that shit too. Pay for the mm-hmm. shit. It's done. I ain't mm-hmm. thinking about the shit. Now the shit gets here on February uh uh 9th. Next nice. week is here. Congratulations. Like, word, thank you. And that's how it is. Like you gotta just face that shit. But people be so afraid to face it because they think too much. You can't. You can't let your mind head. beat you, because your mind your could head. be your worst enemy as well. Absolutely. So when you learn Absolutely. how to beat that shit up here, you good with with anything. I don't like. I dead ass don't fear nothing that's tangible that that I can see. You know what I mean? Because I got the blueprint on how to deal with the shit. Absolutely. And that's and and with the meditation, that's why I tell my clients. I tell them they're like it's hard. I'm like when the thoughts come. 
acknowledge them. You're not supposed to, they be like, I can't shut my brain off. It's not about shutting your brain off. It's acknowledging, because th those thoughts are coming for a reason. Like, th they're, brand, they're being brought to you so that you can, when you finish meditating, you can now wonder, okay, why did that come? What am I supposed to do with this? But in that moment, treat it like, what happened? Treat it like, um, treat it like, like, like a camera, like a, like a phone with the, with the pictures. And you can leave right there. Oh, you want to sit down? I'm sorry, my granddaughters. Um, you treat it like a phone with the, with the pictures in it. Swipe left. Every time memory comes, so I mean, the, the thought comes, swipe left. Don't sit in it. Once that's you smart as hell, it, too. I always, I, I, that's what I tell them. I say, treat it like a phone with, with the pictures in it. When the thought comes, swipe left. Next thought comes, swipe left. Swipe left. And then when you get out of meditation, then maybe you can revisit why those thoughts came. Because that's what meditation does. It quiets the brain so that you can then you can have a moment to think about whatever is on your brain. So it quiets the brain down. These thoughts come, okay. Um, uh, your mother. Okay, why did why did that thought come to me? Why why when I finally quiet my brain down? Why did the thought of my mom come? So maybe I need to call her. Maybe I need to reach out to her. Maybe you know that's why the thought came. But you can't sit in it in that moment. That's where and like you told me, the brain is a muscle. So when you meditate, all you're doing is building your brain up like brain muscle, like 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 you're working out in the gym. You're building your muscle up, your brain muscle. And that's how I always looked at it. Like, I'm building my muscles up in my brain. Building my muscle brain up. My brain muscle. Yeah. You turn the TV on if you want. And, huh? And that um, assignment that, um, mm -hmm. that, that, that Docs gave you to, what, what? It was uh, to look at, at inside the mirror. Stare at a dot. On a yeah. Wall. I'm like, that, stare at a dot. And it said, first, first focus on the outside. I'm like, oh, my dad, I, I already know that's going to be challenging for me. To stare at a dot. While I'm staring at this dot, I know I'm be thinking about all kinds of other stuff. But the more that you do that, see, see me, what I did was I brought myself this candle. And I would light the candle, and I would stare just at the flame. Mm -hmm. And when any thoughts came, I blocked it out, just focused on the flame. Like, mm -hmm. that creates, like, like, your focus becomes so strong because, like, like you, like, you, like, you got that tunnel vision you focus just on that flame. Shit try to interfere. Nope. Go. Nope. Go. Mm -hmm. So now when it comes to you reading a book, you could read while there's a bunch of noise going on. You know what I mean? You could do this. You could do that. Because you, cause that, yo, that, you know how to focus. that brain, that whole muscle mind connection, like you connecting on that flame. You connecting that's, that's on that dot. And you, you lock in, but you know all that trace back to even having the discipline to even doing that homework assignment. So mm -hmm. you need that, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. This it's so much like like this. I ain't gonna lie, this topic could unravel so much. We I can go, we can go on forever this, with this one. This joint could unravel, like you know, even with like discipline, like to diet and all this, like like when I try to talk to my homeboys like listen like because they don't be having the discipline to do certain things so i try to like listen like like if your problem is women then try to focus on just fasting from 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 that you know what i mean like bro you bugging i can't i can't not have sex i can't like yo bro listen like because when it comes to you having to use that discipline to shift it in the area where you need to come to your job daily you gonna mm -hmm. have that, you know. What I mean, people want to pick mm -hmm. and choose where they want to be disciplined at. Like, like how you choose to be disciplined when it comes to being lazy, but mm -hmm. you don't want to be disciplined when it comes to something that's gonna help better yourself, like going mm -hmm. work. You know what I mean? So, mm -hmm. so, 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 if your biggest problem is women, and you learn to fast from women, your discipline becomes so crazy strong. It's just like when I jumped out the plane, like anything from that plane and down that was was so called like like fearful, it ain't about nothing. So when you fast from from women, anything that 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 used to be a distraction, desires, because you conquered that biggest shit for you, you're gonna be able to run through whatever. That's mm -hmm. why, like, that's why, like, when I turned <clears throat> plant based and I was able to to cut out oxtails like i love oxtails i love that shit so how long since you had them the last time i had it was 2018 wow so when you could discipline yourself like for me 
when you can discipline yourself when it comes to sex and food, you could conquer anything in this world. Yep. You could conquer yep. anything in this world. You know what I mean? Because those are like the two strongest urges. Like that yep. sex, like that sexual energy, that shit is so powerful and strong that when you learn to really have discipline with that and you can aim that in any direction of your goals, you become a you become a savage. People that's yep. what, like like you become a, a whole different type of creation. Like people be looking like dudes be looking at me like, bro, you bugging. Like, yeah, I know I'm bugging from your like from like, your perspective. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? But yeah. they don't understand, like, you know what I mean? And then when it comes to them having to be disciplined with this, then then they want to call me like yo, bro, like I need some advice with this. I told you, bro, fast <laughs> from that. That's gonna take yeah. care of this. You know what I mean? Because I don't like to I don't like to feed people. I want to teach a nigga how to get his own fish. I'm mm -hmm. teaching you how to go to the root of your problem. Mm -hmm. if, you know what I mean? Now, now I'm not telling you to fast for a whole year, but the more, but I'm like, I mean, just just start with like a month or like or like just come and train with me. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. The more that you come and train with me, that's going to help build the discipline. Like people mm -hmm. and working out, just working out. Nah, like the more that you show up every day to train, that's building discipline. So you it's can become a part of your life. So you can use that when it comes time to go to work daily. Absolutely. And the more that Absolutely. you complete in your set, that's building up that confidence, that self confidence. See, for me, confidence is everything because it changes your approach in life. If you ain't got no confidence when you got to go to a job interview, the way that you approach that shit is different than another person that their confidence is up. They going mm -hmm. up in that shit, their energy is up. I got this job. Mm -hmm. Like the way that they talking is different. But when you ain't got that confidence, it's like it don't that shit don't really hit the same. Yo, that's like that video I just posted up this week, Monday, right? The hopers versus the knowers. Yo, I don't like people that with the I hope. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, and I ain't, I ain't want to say, I want to use an example, but I, I don't want to because I don't want to put nobody on blast, but I can't stand up. I hope I get this good grade. Yo, get away from me. Get away from me. Because I know, first of all, I know the effort I put into it. So I know, I know if, if, if I didn't put the, if I didn't put all my all into it, then I already know I'm not going to get a good grade. But if I, but if I, if I know I put everything into it, I researched it and, and I asked questions and. I know I'm gonna get a good grade. You're not going. I'm not gonna sit here with no I hopes. I hope. I hope I get this job. Come on, get away from me, y'all. Get away from me. You, 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 you killing my energy right now. You killing me. Like I need you to get away from me. That them hopers versus them knowers. I'm a knower. Like I know. I, I, because I know what I put in. I know. Like bodybuilding. I'll say that. I can say this now. I never was a hundred percent on my diet. Never. I didn't. I wasn't out there going to uh, McDonald's or Wendy's. I mean, when I say I was, I was never a hundred percent on my diet. Meaning. I would still have like little snacks, like little things I wasn't supposed to have, like little cheese crackers. I would get them because your body, your body will start whatever it doesn't get, it'll start craving it at night. So all the calories, and when you when you compete, you already know a lot. You have to cut calories as you get closer and closer to the show, so that you start leaning out. So at night, that's your biggest challenge. At night, everybody would say at night it's at night it's at night because your body is now craving those all the calories it didn't get all day. So when you when your last meal is at eight o'clock. And you still got a whole like two hours before you go to sleep, and your coach is like, "Drink water, drink water." <laughs> like all I want is like five little crackers. I would do stuff and tell myself, like, "I'm gonna go get the little veggie Ritz crackers." It, it, at least it's healthy. <laughs> <laughs> I would do stuff like that. So when I would go on stage and I would play second or third, I knew I didn't go 100. percent So I couldn't even get mad. I couldn't get mad because I know the energy I put into it. I couldn't mm -hmm. now if I know I won a thousand and then in the in the in the place under number one, yeah, I'm gonna feel some type of way because I know what I put into it. I'ma still be happy because I know I won within myself, but I'm still gonna feel some type of way because I know what I put in. But every time I would get I would go in there and get like a second place or a third place, can't even get mad, yo, because just what a month ago I was eating rich crackers and I wasn't supposed to. Mm -hmm. Telling myself that it's healthy. I got saltless. I got salt free. I got veggie. Nah, that was not on my script. <laughs> so if I decide to compete again and I put in that now, if I do it, I'm definitely going to put in 150. I'm going to go 100% because I know if I still was placing high and looking as good as I did and doing really good and I gave 99%, imagine when I go 100. 
Magic when I go 100, I'm killing the game. And if I do it again, I'm killing the game. I'm coming in. I'm winning. I'm going to win. See what I mean? I'm not going to be, oh, I'm going in. I'm hoping I'm winning. Now I'm going to win. I'm going to win. Yo, listen. I will, I will never I will never attack any goal with the mindset of, of I hope. Like, like if <laughs> yo, that, like it don't even feel right. It don't even feel right saying, yo, Word. I hope this happened out. No, why? Like, like this, see, and that's the thing. People don't realize, like, there's certain things you do to win. There's things, you, like, people don't just win by accident. You know what I mean? People, like, like Jordan wasn't just, no. It was something that he was doing that was leading him to win. And there's something that other people do that don't lead to win. So when you know that you're following a correct plan that's going to lead you to win, you know full fact you got that shit. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Like, just like, just like um, Kobe. They said Kobe, Kobe. They said Kobe will be the first one in and the last one out. Yo, his work ethic was ridiculous. Yo, I heard a video. It said that it said that um, he was. They had they had went to went to like some championship or whatever, and they didn't win. But the fact that they went to the championship, like everybody was out celebrating, and he was like, "Nah, what we be celebrating a loss." Nah, I'm about to go back in the gym. And I'm about to um that three point. They said that that whatever he missed, or like say for instance, he missed a three a three point shot. They said he was working on that the whole time, working on hitting that shot from that same hitting that shot, going around, coming back, hitting that shot. He was working on whatever it was that he felt was his his downfall in that particular game. And they went out and party. He was like, Nah, I'm, I'm we ain't win. I'm what, what are we celebrating a loss? Who does that? Mm-hmm. Now I'm back. I'm I'm back in the gym, getting getting it in. And that was that. That was always my mindset. Like, no, nah, I'm not. I go out and eat my little meal, but I ain't win. So I'm back in the gym next day. I'm back in the gym next day. Exactly, exactly, yo. And and the, like this, it's so much to learn just from just from that alone. Like, you know I mean, people get content. I mean, people be like, and that's cool. Like, like that's cool. Like, like if you want to, like if you want to be happy with just making it to the championship. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to, like, you know how much sweat and practice, like, a motherfucker put in to, like, no. I want to take this shit all the way through. All the way. And if it's something that that, that I did that got in the way of me not getting it, nigga, I'm standing, I'm keeping on practicing. Yo, by the time players would come in to practice, he had to practice done already. Like, that's crazy. crazy. Yeah, Kobe. Yeah, I did hear that. I did hear that. I did t- hear that. Yo, that. <laughs> that's that's next level. By the time you coming into practice, like like I'm, and he <laughs> practice with them. <laughs> yeah, I did hear that. I did hear that. That he. Yeah, I did hear that. That's me. That's going. That's 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 me all day. That's me all day. Like I, ain't, I'm, I'm, I'm. I always pride myself in being above average. We gotta pride ourselves in like the average is out here doing it. I, I gotta do the next level because I cannot be on the same level with average. Cannot. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't like, I'm, like, like. Even when I was in the streets, like, 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 I was doing stuff that was beyond average stuff. Like, I don't even know how to be average. Like, that's like, and I'm not just saying that. Like, I feel like I was just born to be somebody that's that's beyond. To be average. different. You know what I mean? And to be a leader. Now a leader. that now that you know, thank God, I'm doing. I'm doing the righteous things. I got that same mindset. Like I was always that extreme type of person. You know what I mean? Like I used to do stuff just to have stories to tell. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Have people sitting around. <laughs> like, yeah. Like, like kids, like telling a story, like you tell like, them yeah. the book to them. Like that ass, like, I mean, just to come back with crazy stories, like, yo, over there, like, yo, I was doing I was doing I was doing that. You know what I mean? And it's crazy because People they used to like they would like would glorify that so that made me feel better so it would keep me doing more keep me doing more and when you it's like, doing it's like it, a high yo it's like a high yo and when that karma come back around that shit gonna do you the same way you was doing people out here that Absolutely. energy that energy that you put out into this world that shit gonna come back that like and that's what it was that really had helped me change it wasn't the fact that I was afraid to do things nah like yo I'm like I came home when I was 25 years old. So I'm coming home at 25 for me to jump back into the streets, knowing yeah. that I still got karma that's coming back around from the shit that I've been doing. Nah, like, I'm going to stop now. You know what I mean? 
Like, do you believe that? Do you believe you can erase your karma that's coming? By by, and when I say erase it, meaning do so well that that karma won't won't come back and visit you because you change and you and you renewed your 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 life and you know you did like prime example, you out robbing people, you did your time, you come home, you you get so much on a nice track or so much on a you on such a good track that. That that those robberies that you were doing is not going to be returned to. That karma is going to be erased. Do you believe that that it can happen that, that way? Nah, because I believe that the energy that you put into this world it has to come back to you. That's why, like, like you have certain people, like these rappers, like prime example, they made it out the hood. They doing this, they doing that. Just because you made it out the hood, you can't forget about the shit that you used to do when you was in the streets. That karma it has to return back. You like, mm -hmm. like, I mean, you put it out there now, 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 just because you change your mindset, you think you're not going to have to pay back. Nah, you know what I mean? You're going to get held accountable for the things that you did. You know what Absolutely. I mean? So but now it may not come back in the same way. Like, so, so, so prime example, like, like, I know that I was out here robbing people doing this. I'm not going to say that it has to come back to me, like in that same way. Nah, mm -hmm. but, but. Nigga, you gonna take the laws? Mm -hmm. uh, like for example, like yo, this trailer I got right. So they gave me the price, right? So I'm thinking the shipping is is two thousand dollars, right? Mm -hmm. So I pay for them to build the whole trailer. Mm -hmm. Now it come time for them to to get the shit over here. They it's an extra five thousand. The shipping went from two thousand dollars. To fucking seventy three hundred dollars. I'm like, bro, like, like what? Y'all don't think that's something that you gotta tell somebody? You know what Damn. I mean? Exactly, exactly. So, so I look at it like, you know what I mean? So, I mean, like, like there's ways that 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 energy will return. Not saying that, but that was just like an example. You know what I mean? So, nah, I don't, I don't. I don't feel like you can do so much positive that the energy's not gonna come back. Nah. Yeah, I don't either. I, I I agree with you. And I feel well for me. I speak from my personal experiences. Um, I feel like my karma with with things like prime example. Um, I had a felony charge. You know, in the bank dealing with money. I feel like it was a span of my life where I made the most money. At that time, I was making so much money. I was a school teacher. I was working at a school program. I was teaching classes at the gym. I was personal training on the side. I was doing, I had like, I had like a ton of jobs. I'm training daddy and I always worked a bunch of jobs. I was, I remember my accountant saying, yo, you need, he was saying to me then like, you need to get a business or get a house or something because you're making so much money that now you're owing money. So when I would do my taxes, I wasn't getting money back. I was starting to owe money. That's how much money I was bringing in, right? But I'm saying to him like, I'm making all this money, but I'm broke as hell. Like I'm broke. Mm -hmm. And 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 I think that was my karma from what I did with the bank. I th I think my karma was coming through my finances because you stole money from somebody, you going you going it's going to hit you right in your bank account. Like you making your, I was making the most like I swear like I'm making so much money and people can understand that like how you making how you make all this money but you still broke. And it was just all the bills I accumulated. I was, you know, the more money you make, the more bills you accumulate. I was out there. I was, I was young, making good money, and I wasn't, I wasn't managing my money right. I wasn't, I wasn't saving. So I was literally like, <laughs> I get paid and, and all the loans. I was, you know, at that time you get on, you can put on to um, credit union loans and 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 this loan and that loan. You got to pay them loans back. And when you a school teacher, you take a credit union loan, it's coming straight out your check. You take a loan off your pension, it's coming straight out your check. So before you get your check, they, they done got their money off the top. Now, mind you, I had I had an Audi, so I had the Audi through the credit union. They taking my car note out of my check. On top of the summer loans, I ain't going to work in the summer, so I got summer loans every summer, 15 years of teaching. They taking their money off the top. Yo, you know how much my checks was every two weeks? $600. Because I'm now paying back, and, and I could not survive. People was like, people could not understand that. Like, like, how you making all this money? I couldn't survive. And I just felt like, you know what? This my karma. This my karma. This my karma right now because because I I, I did that same thing. I, I went in, tampered in some bank accounts. You know what I'm saying? Caught this charge and God was like, all right, now it's time for you to pay that back. Energetically, pay that back. Here's your karma. 
and it, and and I just had to eat that and just wear it. Like I, right, so what I, I gotta I gotta get my life right so I can get out of this karma. Yeah, that's the thing too, man. Like like when you financially broke, the thought process is different. Oh my <laughs> them god, them thoughts is different. Oh shit, yo. Dope. When I tell you, I thought I was gonna have a mental breakdown. I'm like, yo. <laughs> How is it only six hundred dollars in my account, but my check straight say like, like I should be, I should bring home like four thousand, like how I got six hundred, but that's that karma, that was that karma, like and 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 once I woke up and realized like yo, because I couldn't understand like how the fuck, like how is this possible, and then I realized like yo, I'm paying, I'm paying back, like yeah, we paid back financially, paying back for the crime I did, I paid back through probation, I paid back through all of that. But now you gotta energetically pay back. Like you gotta, it, it really gotta hit you hard. And that, and I feel like I had a moment where it was like, yo, I just gotta, I gotta eat this. Like I gotta eat it and make the best of it. So yeah, I, I agree with you. Karma will come back to you. It may not come back in the same form, but it will come back to you some way, somehow, and at some time. So you always gotta remember what you did to somebody, because if you feel like, just know that you, at some point in your life, you gotta pay that back. And you got it. And once you recognize and open up to the fact that, you know what, this is this is my karma. And I'm just gonna sit here and take my whooping, my ass whooping, however long it's gonna last. I feel like that's when it starts lightening up. Cause once I realized, like, cause I kept, I, I was just sit like, why, why am I going through this? I don't understand. Then I realized, like, you know what, karma, karma. I'm being, I'm being paid back energetically. This is this is God's beating on me now. All that other stuff was like, this is the beating through the world. You know, you're, you know, paying back your um restitution and, and the probation and all that kind of stuff. That was that was your payback to the world. Now you gotta pay me back. And that and, and once I realized that, stuff started changing, stuff started shifting. Yeah, karma, karma is a, a universal law. Like we studied mm-hmm. the laws. I mean that's twelve that's laws. A, twelve laws. That's a real law, you know. That's that's why back in 08, like when I got uh locked up for a charge that wasn't even shit that I was doing, I knew, like, yo, nah, this had to be karma, yo. Because I've gotten away with so much shit that I was doing. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, and then for me to get arrested for, for that pet, like, to me, she was a petty crime compared to the shit that, that, that I was I was actually doing. I'm mm-hmm. like, yo, how did I get four years for this? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, four years for this? I'm like, you know what? Shit could have been worse, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I could have, I could have, I could have got caught in the act of me actually doing something that could have gotten me got you more time. More time. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I learned from it. And, you know what I mean? And even with karma too, what what really got me with that law? This is something that always stuck to me. You could think about doing something. If you don't do it, that karma is going to return to you. So, if I think like I should, um, I should, I should send, I should send bro uh, ten dollars. He was saying earlier how he needed some money. I got the money in my account. I should send him ten dollars, but I don't do it. Um, that's karma. Karma's gonna come back to me because just the thought of doing something good and not acting on it, you will get your karma from that. That got me when I read that. When I read that in that law, I kept reading it. Kept reading that. Always stuck with me. Cause, Cause that's an act that. too. Like that's also that's also an act. Like if you think about helping somebody and you physically choose not to help somebody, that's an act. So yeah, that car, that that energy is gonna come back, you know. That always stuck with me. So now, if I think about something, I'm just like, "Yo, do it, do it, do it." And every time I do it, I always the, the blessing comes immediately after, immediately after, because it's like good. It's, it's like I, I look at it like whenever I do something and the blessing comes right back to me, I look at it as that's that's the universe saying, "Good girl, good girl, you listen, you you got it, you got it." So now, when I think about something, I'm like. Damn, I gotta go do it now. Mm-hmm. I gotta go do it now. Yeah, you know. So accountability. Hold on, okay. I got, I got this call. Keep. That's the thing. Oh, my BM. Like, oh, you ignoring my calls? <laughs> <laughs> she. Yeah. You trying to go in? Yeah, yo. Accountability is real. Accountability is, you know, you know, and and also I wanna, I wanna, I wanna actually start really talking about accountability more, you know what I mean? Because 
Like, like you do have people that, you know, they would like to have that, you know what I mean? Just like you guys see, I've reached a point where I only, like, I only wanted to train clients that was at the point where they fed up. They, like, they want change versus mm -hmm. the people that think that just because they paying. Because truthfully, people like to feel good just talking to their friends about them having a personal trainer. So they mm -hmm. come in, but they're not putting in an effort. When you, mm -hmm. when you have a client that they ready to change, they want that accountability on them, those were the clients that towards my last end of training, I'm like, nah, I want a client that they ready to change. Mm -hmm. That will make me feel like I right, now, now I'm using my, my, you know, like my, my, my purpose. And them other clients, they make your hour feel forever. Oh my oh, God. You know what I mean? So yeah, you know, um, I feel like that, that should be talked about more accountability, you know, Do it. And like Do it. in order for you to get, the most out of your life, like you should have somebody that's going to hold you. I mean, of course, you should hold your own self accountable. But if you got if you got a friend, or I mean, like, not like she could be she could be your mom's or whatever. You know what I mean? And get somebody that's going to hold you accountable. That's going to lock mm -hmm. in on you. you could, yo, mm -hmm. we only yo listen. We only like for as much as we do know, we only promise this 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 life is. I don't know nobody that they left and came back. You know what I mean? Now, I know certain religions say this, say that, but what do we really know? What do we really know? We really know that, yo, this right here could be our only life. You know what Absolutely. I mean? Absolutely. So I'm maxing out on this shit. Absolutely. Rest in peace Absolutely. To, to, to Bob Proctor, but yo, to me, oh, yeah. he, lived a, he lived a long life. He got teachings out here. Just like we started off the conversation. The more information, the more positivity that you put out here and people they benefit from, like, yo, he got a whole school. Yo, he yo, he was the goat of the goats. Like, he was Eric Thomas teacher. You know what yo, I mean? Oh, I know that. Yeah, he was. He teach the people that's out here physically teaching us now. Can you imagine? Like, like I, I mean, I feel like he maxed out. So that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to Max Word. out on my life. I'm trying to max, maximize on my time, maximize on all that. So anytime I come across a group where somebody charging to be a part of accountability group, that's a tax write-off. Wow. You know? I didn't know that he was Eric Thomas' teacher. Yeah. Wow. I know I got, I, I, signed, up for, I signed up for one of his programs, and I get his emails all the time. Me too. And when I saw that, I saw the email, I was like, what is this saying? And then you sent me over the, the post showing that he passed. I was like, oh shoot. Yeah, he, he was like right up under like uh Napoleon Hill. You know what I mean? Like Napoleon Hill, the one that wrote the Think and Grow Rich. And he was up under Earl, Earl, Earl uh uh Nightingale. Nightingale. So it Nightingale. shit trickled down. And like you said, like you said, they playing them seeds and it just and it stayed and exactly, stayed. Exactly. Damn. That's why while we here, we gotta plant our seeds. Because Word. these kids is coming up next. That, and that's my whole thinking. My whole thinking right now is, you know, my grandchildren. I'm, I'm planting seeds with the, with the thoughts of them. Like, 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 yeah, the world, cool, fuck the world. I'm out here for them. This, this is this right here. I need, I need them to, do you know how, I, don't, I mean, my, grand, my grandparents was dope. But, like, imagine you at a, at a competition watching your grandmother on stage winning. You know how that make them feel? Like, I'm playing a seed of like we winners and in, 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 in our family we win. This is what we do. So whatever you want to do, no matter what the world is telling you or how it looks, how it appears, or women not supposed to do this, tell me I can and I am. And I want my grandkids to have that. I want them to share that same energy of you tell me I can't do something, I'm gonna show you I can. So yeah, you absolutely right. It's gonna be inside of their foundation. So even if they don't take heed right now, like my oldest son, you know what I mean? He's not it's like like he hear what I'm saying, but of course he still do his own thing. I just like me, mm -hmm. my pops was saying this, saying that, and I branched off and, and did my own thing. But I already know, like that 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 foundation is strong. So whenever you get put in a, you know what I mean, that type of situation, you come back to your foundation. My foundation was always prayer, you know. So mm -hmm. as long as we planting that seed in them, we keeping that shit fertile. You watering that seed. You know what I mean? Because because we can't we can't force them 
to do nothing. You know what I mean? You got to learn. But as long Definitely as, you no, know, you doing, you doing like, like you doing your job to the best of your, you know what I mean? Then they're going to be, they're going to trust me. You know what I mean? And, and that's what it's about. It's not about trying to change the whole world. It's about first you changing yourself and then Absolutely. you change your family. And it, like, like Hassan just said, start with the ones closest to you. Yes. Shout out to Haas. I got to get you, I got to get you on a live, Haas. And and death is death is in not trying. Absolutely, absolutely. Once you don't try, you didn't you didn't kill it. You didn't you didn't you didn't straight you didn't shot it down immediately before he, you shot it before he even it was even born. Straight shot like we talking about the can't the can't like I can't. You already done killed it, man. Get away from me. Get away from me. I I, I don't no. need that energy. It's potato. Get away from me. I don't, I don't even want that shit on my clothes. I can't. Get out of here. And that word can't. Like when I be training can't. clients, I hate when they use that word can't. Like yo, you like. Like you ain't even tried yet, you know what I mean? You saying you How can't you know? do it? How you know what you can do? You ain't even try. Like yo, damn, can't and try. Like I don't even I, like 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 when people say I'm trying. Are you trying or are you actually doing? When people say I'm trying, like now nah, you're not trying, you're doing it. If I'm trying, I, I don't get it. If you're when you're trying to do something, that means it's not really actually happening. So are you trying to do it or are you actually doing it? So that's why I, I had to, I I still have to you know check me on that reef. I still have to check myself sometimes with the trying words. Yeah. I'll be like, yo, I'm doing it. Yo, I'm out here doing it. I'm 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 just doing what I could do and, 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 and working on being better. I do not use try. I don't use can't in my vocabulary. Not happening. It don't happening. feel right. Like using that word try don't even feel right. I feel like, yo, I'm a grown ass man. Like, what's getting in the way of me doing it? Like I feel I'm like doing it. I feel like trying is like a cop out. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But when it comes to me, mm. like, like when it comes to me going to the gym, like ain't nothing gonna get in the way of that. So, Absolutely. So why would it come I mean, to you in a, this you in a goal? gym, like yeah, you in the gym working out? I'm trying. So what are you doing? If you're trying to work out, what are you there doing? I'm so confused. People say, tell me with that trying, trying and can't. Like yo, get away from me. You doing it or you ain't, and that's it. You know, you know. Yeah, yo. This was this was uh great. This this talk on accountability was great. Words we went to a whole, I, which I already knew that was gonna happen. We went to a whole next level. <laughs> but yeah, back to that accountability. Get your accountability partner, partners. Like I said, you can have a, accountability partners for everything, like everything. Like when I was working, I had an accountability partner, somebody who you know I would call and just let them know, like. Um, damn, I've got a cash app. That always sounds good. <laughs> that is her money come through. Um, yeah, you, you got the, um, you got accountability partners for like when I was working, I had accountability partner for working. for like, yo, it's tough. It's, it's, it's a tough day. I really don't feel like it. You know, da, 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 da. And they, they'll, they'll, you can do it. You can do it. Just start off with this. Off. My accountability partner. By the end of the day, it's like, yo, I did, I did. I, I caught up. I got 10 notes in. That's better than what you had earlier. Boom. All right. Thank you. Got the gym accountability partners. You know, people that you call up. When, when we meeting? What time are we doing? What are we doing today? How are we getting it in? What's, what's the plan? That's your accountability partner for the gym. You got your, your diet accountability partner. Somebody who you know, and they don't necessarily have to be traveling the road with you, but somebody who you know is going to encourage you, not tell you you can't do it or, or nah, yeah, you, you can have them bag of chips. They ain't going to mean nothing. Nah, it is going to mean something. That, them bag of chips is going to determine my first and second place. When it's up against, when I'm up against China lady that's from Asia, I mean, I'm um, the Asian lady from China. We me and her standing close to close, and they trying to figure out who going who going to win out of out of the first place. Them bag of chips made me play second. So when people always say that, like like you you go so hard, you can have this. Nah, no, I can't. No, I can't. That's going in my mind. That's going to keep me from winning, my, reaching my my ultimate goal. I'm gonna come this close, but if I had not had them bag of chips. I wouldn't have been close. I'd have, I'd have straight smoked them. That was always my mindset. Bodybuilding really did like it. It it did. I was already a go getter, and my drive was already crazy. But bodybuilding took my shit to the next level. Mm hmm. Yeah. Hey, yo. Childish. Yo, Ted. Yo, yo, Ted. Ted has a a, a partner for for sleeping, for making sure that, mm -hmm. that yeah. For resting, to making sure that that he's getting in enough hours of rest. <laughs> Word. Wow. Word. Yo, that's deep. And that's, that's, that's truth, truthfully like that's 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 very important. That's very absolutely. Important. Sleep, rest. You know, 
Cause, cause when you when you tired throughout the day, you have an attitude. Like I know when I'm tired, when I don't feel good, when I'm tired, hungry, or don't feel good, my energy is so off. My energy is so low and so off, and and I'm just not my normal vibrant self because I'm tired. So yeah, you gotta get that rest in. Yo, at my age, I done made I done made napping a part of my schedule. I will put <laughs> on my to do list unplug. Okay. Unplug means. What I even take it and, and for me, I don't need like a like an hour nap or 30 minute nap. All I need is like 15, 20 minutes. I need a power nap. Energy. I feel like I'm plugging myself in the wall, regaining my energy so I can get I can get through the rest of my day. Word. I have to unplug. Now it now I may not necessarily go to sleep, but I will just sit in my room. Come here. I will go in my room and just lay in my bed for like 15, 20 minutes. No phone, turn the phone, do not disturb, and just lay there. Or sometimes just close my eyes. And that's unplugging and recharging. Yeah, naps is, is very important for me nowadays. <laughs> yeah, you have to. You got to. You got to unplug. You got to unplug and recharge. The, ba- the baby using a shot to uh to make music. Uh, <laughs> He's in a shot. That but, um, plastic. But I let's. I'm, I got to get up off of here because this baby um been just woke up. He needs to get his diaper changed. He needs to eat. <laughs> Yo, this. This has been uh-huh. this has been super dope. Got to definitely do it again. I'm be hitting up some people to do more uh more talks because we we definitely need this. People need I need I need it. I need it. Like I learned I learned a lot just from sitting here talking. Well, I always learn a lot when I talk to you, but I learned a lot just sitting in this little conversation. I learned a lot. Word, I learned like, a whole lot. Likewise, man. And I appreciate it. You know, um, yo, so if you can, yo, if I was you, I would I would save the video. I, oh, it's on YouTube, yo. How do I do it? Um, I think right, so once, I, once I hang, how do I save the video? I think, I think as soon as you close out, I think they probably give you like the option to do so or not. Okay, I gotta make sure I don't end it all the way. All right, cool. Because I ain't went live in a long time. Word. I ain't went live in a long time. I remember last time I went live, I want, I wanted to save it, and I didn't, I didn't get a chance to save it. I don't want to lose this video. All right, so um, I think I think maybe you should um should let me um close out, and then I think if I think if you you close out the X button, maybe maybe it 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 pop up. I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't even I don't even be going live. I just pray. I pray I don't lose this. <laughs> if not, then we'll be doing it again. We'll Word. be doing it again, yo. But um, I right, yo, go ahead. Go. It's 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 mad early. It's only nine o'clock. Somebody's mad late. Let me tend to these grand. We we playing we playing board games. One granddaughter and went to sleep. One woke up. So I'm a, I'm a, and and she wants to learn how to make break make a bracelet. So I gotta get to her and try to and show her not try. I gotta show her how to how to make a bracelet. And then um and then yeah, just get get rest of this night started. I got class in the morning, nine to five on Zoom. That's gonna be interesting. So I gotta get my mind right. One last thing, y'all. Listen. Get y'all water in. I know oh, yep. when the time people people they tend to, to fall off. Listen, get your your water in. This right here is a first and foremost. It's a fat burner. This this shit right here is gonna help you help you feel full. Your body is maybe seventy five to eighty percent water, so it, mm-hmm. it it literally needs water for you to be able to function the way that you really like should function. We need to be drinking water. You should be mm-hmm. drinking at least half, half the body weight in ounces. So if you're 200 pounds, at least 100, 100 uh, ounces. Me, I just just do a whole gallon. A whole gallon. You can't go yeah. home by just doing a whole gallon. You know what I mean? And and the more water you drink, the more your body starts to crave it. So the people are like it's hard for me to get all that water in. You got you got to push it. You got to like literally set. I used to have my clients set an alarm. Set an alarm every 30 minutes. Guzzle guzzle water. And the more you drink it, the more your body's gonna start wanting. It's gonna start craving it more and more. Exactly. So you know, whenever you, whenever you starting out, you gotta really get yourself out of that mindset of I'm only gonna drink whenever I'm thirsty. If you just no. doing that, it ain't gonna work. You got yeah, you got to drink, drink that joint. See me, I just I do like anywhere from five to to like to like ten seconds. I just up that joint down, up that joint down. Before you know it, the joint be done. I'll be, be feeling, done. I'll be feeling, I'll be, yo, I'll be feeling great, yo. You know, you want to. And on top of that, it keeps your skin clear. Like, like lately, I've been having like a little bit of like breakouts, and that's because I haven't been getting my normal amount of water in. 
I've been running, 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 running. I haven't been getting my normal amount of water in, and I'm noticing like I've been having these breakouts in my face. I got very good, clear skin, but because I haven't been getting that water in, it's starting to. Because what it is is the water purifies your body. So if you're not if you're not purifying your body, it has to come out. So it starts coming out through your skin. It starts coming out through your skin and and all kinds of places. It starts coming out. So once you purify, you run it down. Go to the bathroom. That's why we pee so much when we drink a lot of water because we, we we're cleaning it out. So it's coming out that way. When you're not getting it in, it start coming out through your skin. I know for me, it comes out through my skin. Whenever my skin starts breaking out, I know that I'm not getting my, my water in, the right amount of water in. Word, word, word. All right, See, so look, 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 look. People getting people getting a thousand dollars. They get no, they getting a million worth, million dollars worth of game a thousand times because we got the the hell if you want with two health fanatics, oh, um, mindset fanatics. Like, <laughs> like this right here is free game for real. For real, for real. But there, check out the YouTube. I'm, I'm gonna save this. Anybody who's just coming in late, I'm gonna um, save this video, put it on my YouTube. My page is Pure Positive Energy on YouTube. Go ahead and check it out if you want to watch the whole video. We just sat here. The whole topic was supposed to be accountability. We went from accountability to mindset, discipline, drive, healthy eating, um, working out. Like we talked about everything because we like the best of, of, of a million worlds right now <laughs> it came back to all of it Accountability. it came back and, left came back them them bust mad yui's right <laughs> Word. What's, up? what's up oh my god all right the baby's calling for my attention all right let me, go, let me, go, let me go get on my grandma duty Walaikum salam i love you love and, you too um, you know how we do I, i'll be hitting you up later on all right, cool. I'm going to holler at All you. Right, okay.